Hey guys, firstly I'd just like to say a huge thank you to all the viewers in supporting my new channel. I've had a lot of requests on how I have applied Juan's Power Grade in my previous videos. By the end of this tutorial, I hope you too can achieve the beautiful Ari Alexa look that everyone loves from their Blackmagic Pocket Cinema cameras. If you haven't done so already, have a look at Juan's website at some of the work he has done. This will give you a bit of an idea on the style of his color grading. The product we'll be using today is a Pocket 6K to Alexa Power Grade, made for the Blackmagic 6K and 6K Pro Pocket Cinema cameras. If you own the 4K version, use the Pocket 4K to Alexa Power Grade instead. Take the time to read about why he has made this conversion in the first place and how he matched his Ari Alexa to his Blackmagic. There are three different versions you can use, LUTs, Power Grades, or both. For me, I purchased the Power Grade version for the greatest flexibility. Shout out to Juan for posting my video on his product page. I'm a very happy customer. He also has some great examples below showing the Alexa conversion. Once you've downloaded the product, just simply unzip the folder. You'll see there is three folders here. The first one is the power grade itself. We will use these as the base of our grade structure. The second folder is used for your in-camera and on-set LUTs. The last folder will be the final conversion LUT in which we will use at the end of the power grade. All right, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. We will create a new project. The first thing we need to do is change some settings in which Juan recommends. In Preferences, inside the General tab, make sure Use Mac Display Color Profile for Viewers is ticked. In Project Settings, under Master Settings, I change the resolution to 4096 by 1679 for an aspect ratio of 2 to 35 to 1. You can set it to whatever you like, but I have found this nice for YouTube. Under Color Management, we need to change the Timeline Color Space to Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. We will also change the 3D Lookup Interpolation to Tetrahedral. Alright, now we need to add a LUT to DaVinci. This will open the library of LUTs currently installed. Inside the Rec 709 LUTs, I have found the Wide Dynamic Range version 2 the best. You can experiment with these. Paste that into the LUT folder and click on Update Lists. Then click Save. Now it's time to import your footage. I'll use a shot I filmed on the beach with my girlfriend that has a nice range of colors. We will drag that into our media pool. Now we will drag that into our timeline. As we've changed the resolution and ratio, we have to zoom in. I always shoot at maximum resolution so I can do this. I'll change the view to fit. Now we will go into our color tab. This is where the fun begins. Make sure to shoot your footage in B Raw and not ProRes so you have maximum latitude to play with. Under Camera Raw, change the decode using to clip. Ensure we are using Gen 5 Color Science and we tick Highlight Recovery. Juan recommends always shooting at 5600K to match the Ari Alexa. He recommends the tint set to zero. Now we will import our power grade structure. In this window, right click and then select import. In the power grades folder, we will use the non ACES version. I use the first one here. Select import. Then we will right click and apply grade. Now we have our power grade node structure. By default, the exposure and highlight roll off nodes are off. 
simply press Command D to enable these on a Mac. Next, we will add the LUT to the last node. Right click and select the LUT we imported earlier. Now I usually create two more nodes after this. On a Mac, press Option S. I add one for blacks. I usually pull down the blacks in the Curves tab. Then, I add another node called Saturation. This is purely subjective on how much you add here, but I like to raise it to around 70. You can see we've come a long way since the original clip. The colours with this power grade look absolutely stunning. Juan suggests to also use noise reduction in another node, but for this tutorial I will show the basic steps. His recommendations about noise reduction are on his website. We will head to the Deliver tab so we can export the finished clip. Make sure your audio button is ticked. Alright, I'll rename it Juan P6K to Alexa Test and save it into my Movies folder. I always change the codec to Apple ProRes and the type to Apple ProRes 422 to eliminate color banding. Thankfully, YouTube supports this higher quality format so I always upload with this format. In advanced settings, make sure color space tag and the gamma tag are both set to Rec 709. Add that to the render queue. Click render all and away we go. And that's it guys. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing everyone's creative videos. Thanks guys.